Hey, did you did you did you guys hear about the new Rainbow Team Team Rainbow Rocket? So, your boy is late to it once again. I had people in town when this came out. Actually, I was sitting uh, at the at the breakfast table, and Nick and Nexus was like, yo, did you see the new trailer? And I'm like, what? But I didn't get a chance to react to it or anything until now, and I figured, you know what? I think we have one more trailer left before the games come out. We've reacted to everything else so far, so why not just, it's, it's better late than never. Yeah. So, uh, before we begin to this, the only thing I know about this is that it's bad guys. Bad guys are back. Basically, whatever Pokemon posted on Instagram, is what I what I know about it. Anything else? I don't know. So let's see what's happening. If you want to watch the trailer, or if you haven't seen the trailer yet, and it's in its uh, entirety and its regular speed and whatnot, then link is included in the description below. But let's figure out what's going on with Team Rainbow Rocket. Yo, I'm just saying they did my boy Giovanni nice. He is looking spiff, 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 spectacular, dog. Spiffy to the max, bro. I want an outfit like that. I want a suit like that. And I know someone tweeted at me day one, they were like, Nappy's probably gonna be mad because Giovanni only has five mons. First of all, I don't give enough of a fuck. It's just an annoying thing that happens. Like, why? Like, if this is supposed to be Giovanni, why can't? Like, give me a reason why he doesn't have six mons. That's that's why, that's what I'm more angry about than anything else. Not the fact that he doesn't have, because I'm still gonna play the game. I don't give a shit at the end of the day. But what I'm more upset about is like, why? Why, like, if anything, think about that then and there. Why only five? If you're gonna give a trainer five mods, if you're gonna code five mods, especially an important trainer like Giovanni, why not just give him the sixth mod? Why not? Like, actually, why not? I don't know. That's what I'm more upset about. But Homeboy's got his Mewtwo. It would be so dope if they gave him the armor in this, though. That would have been lit. If Giovanni fought with the armored Mewtwo, bro, bro, that would have been kind of crazy. If you insist on disrupting my plans, I will make you feel a world of pain. So, my question, actually, no, I, th this might actually be figured out already. Hold on, we're going to peep, we're going to peep the Pokemon website after this. I'm going to speculate and then confirm or deny. But my question is battle through 20 years of villainy because from what I heard from a lot of yo Maxi this nigga is ugly as shit dog he is actually ugly uh my question is after all this stuff like for everyone saying this is an alternate timeline where like the villains won or whatever and they're all together now and that's why but is this a post game thing or is this like actually part of the story and then there's oh, a battle agency this already looks cringy with the glasses, it already looks cringy. Already looks cringy. But my question is, is it post-game? Ooh, Entei versus Titar. Ooh. 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 See, I was under the assumption that the battle agency like, worked to fight Team Rainbow Rocket, but they don't. You borrowed Thunderous? What is this, stadium? Was it stadium that you got to rent Mons? Rent powerful Pokemon and battle one-on-one. -on -one. So it's a one-on-one -on -one battle? That's why it's Entei versus Titar. Well, we know who wins this fucking battle, dog. Jesus. Why are you Volt tackling? Click Thunder Cannon, dog. Click Thunder Cannon. No, this isn't for that because he's battling the, the, the teacher lady there. It's not Team Rainbow Rocket. So, my question is, battle powerful characters and earn rare items. So, this is, battle agencies like the Battle Maison. So, you can fight to get items I'm guessing Wi-Fi items and whatnot. That's how you'll do it. Or like the battle tree, because the battle tree was the same thing that you did. So instead of a tree, it's an agency. Cool. Cool. Search Alola for totem stickers. What? Totem stickers? What is the point in it? Yo! That's actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. I've been playing Mario Odyssey as of late, so going around finding collectibles, I'm just in the mood for it. That's actually kind of cool. That's lit as shit, dog. That's like the little the little 8-bit uh, stamps that are in Odyssey that you have to throw. It's like Cat Peach, Cat Mario, and whatnot. That's dope. Get totem-sized Pokemon by collecting lots of stickers. Oh, so that's what you get for it. Totem-sized? That's a big gumshoes, dog. So what's the difference between a regular Mon and a totem-sized Pokemon? Like, what's the point in me collecting all these stickers to get totem-sized mods? 
So Ultra Sun has Lorantis, and Ultra Moon gets you Salazzle. I, you, you, th you thought I didn't notice the little thing on the bottom? Ever since what, was it was one or two trailers back, when they when they made that that change, yeah, yeah. Different Pokemon appear via Island Scan. They did this as well in Sun and Moon, but I'm guessing they're diversifying. No, because I remember you can get a Charmander in Sun and Moon that way. Or are they just actually promoting it like heavier this time? Because I want you to know, I didn't know about it until like well after the game came out, like a month after the game came out, you can get Mons via Island Scan. They were like, yeah, you can get Dano on 10 Carat Hill. And I'm like, how? And they're like, oh, boom. Encounter Legendary Pokemon Beyond an Ultra Wormhole. So instead of Hooper Rings this time, we have an Ultra Wormhole. This is another thing I did hear about. Apparently, every Legendary Pokemon is in the game. And they're doing this, they have all the bad guys and all the legends coming back because uh, it's the last game on the 3DS. So they're just dumping everything into the game since the last one on the 3DS. Are we, we didn't see Mew or Celebi. Okay, we didn't see Mew or Celebi, no Pixies. They went first gen, second gen, first and second gen legends, the Reggies. Reggies, Latios, Latias, okay. Jirachi, nope, fourth gen. Dialga, Palkia, Garatna. Is Arceus included in this? There's no Giratina. There's Lake Trio. There's Regigigas. Cresselia, Heatran. My boy Garatna. Oh, look at him go! Giratina is so cool, dog. Oh, wait, we didn't see Arceus, we didn't see Shaman. We didn't see Darkrai. Well, Shame is a pixie. They didn't show any pixies. We didn't see Darkrai. What's up with that, dog? What's up with that, dog? Reshiram and Zekrom. They're just, they're dumping everything in this game. It's crazy that they're doing this because it's the same thing they did with Auras. And they're putting so much of a focus on this when it's like, what about the new Ultra Beasts? What about everything that's new in the game? Like, it's cool that we can get all these mons, but it's like... I feel like it shouldn't have so much of an emphasis on it, because this has been like 30 seconds of the trailer so far, showing off all these legends. That's one of the dopest pairs. Zygarde! Finally! They're doing something with Zygarde! Finally! <laughs> like in Sun and Moon, they didn't give him this big, badass form. That should have been X and Y, dog. 100% should have been X and Y. We have Megas. They're actually showing us Mega Evolution in a Sun and Moon trailer? What? Are we, oh, I'm gonna jump the gun. Are we gonna get new Megas in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Hello? Primal? Or oh, that's Mega Rayquaza. I like how it just shows the different forms now. They put so much time on these legends that we've already had! Dog, what's happening? What's happening? Team Rainbow Rocket. Hmm. Hmm. So it's, it's Rainbow Rocket because it's all the different teams together. Yo, that nigga Giovanni. Straight G, dog. Not even because he starts with G. <laughs> Yo, that's a dope image, though, with all these legends. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. Now, what I want to see is the Pokemon website. Let us check that. Okay, so more information from the Pokemon website. All the legendary Pokemon join the fight. Look at all these goddamn mods. That's a lot of Pokemon. But, like we said, there's no Pixies. There's no Arceus. There's no Darkrai. Specifically, there's no Darkrai. Yo, we just watched a video and they showcased all of these fucking Pokemon. That's a lot. That's a lot. You won't only find Ultra Beasts in the worlds that lie beyond the Ultra Wormhole. You can encounter, you can even encounter legendary Pokemon such as Mewtwo, Ho-Oh, Lugia, and others. In fact, all legendary Pokemon of your will appear in the worlds you explore in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Get them on your team! Dog, this shit says you arrived at a warp hole that was 1,463 light years away from where you were. Whoa. Some of the legendary Pokemon that you can encounter differ depending on which game you're playing. By exploring both Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you can encounter all the legendary Pokemon that appeared in previous Pokemon series games. You sense a presence that exudes its overwhelming power. Mew. Mewtwo appeared. Crazy. Legendary Pokemon can change forms too. 
Some Pokemon can temporarily release power hidden within to change their appearances. Whoa. So this is like on their own? Like it's on their own like in the wild when we're fighting them? Because I don't see a trainer behind them. I don't see no trainer behind them. Oh, that's a trainer right there. What? That'd be weird. Special legendary encounters. Most legendary Pokemon that you encounter weight you in worlds beyond Ultra Wormholes, but some legendary Pokemon can be encountered when you fulfill special conditions. For example, you can encounter Giratina if you have both Dialga, which can be encountered in Ultra Sun, and Palkia, which can be encountered in Ultra Moon as allies. So this is just like Auras. The following Pokemon appear in Ultra Sun only. Ho-Oh, Raikou, Groudon, Latios, Dialga, Heatran, Rushram, Tornadus, and Xerneas. Awkward. Some of those are awkward. The following appear in Ultra Moon only. Lugia, Entei, Kyogre. Why? Why? Moon's got lit as... I mean, they're both lit. There's like Each one has like one or two that I'm kind of met on, and the rest are just dope. Like, these first three right here are just stacked. But then these first three are stacked. Ah! Ah! Specific Pokemon only appear Suicune with Raikou and Entei, Rayquaza with Groudon and Kyogre, Giratino, Dialga and Palkia, Karen with Reshiram and Zekrom, and Landers with Tornadoes and Thunderous. Of course. Just like with Oris. Why you do this to us, Pokemon? Like, it's been all these years that you, you've you been forcing people to buy both copies of the game. We're gonna buy both copies anyways. Stop forcing us. Stop trying to milk us, though. Team Rainbow Rocket takes the stage. Okay. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, the greatest villainous organization in history appears. It's Team Rainbow Rocket, made up of bosses from the past titles in the Pokemon series. The boss of Team Rainbow Rocket is another than Giovanni, who is also the boss of the villainous organization known as Team Rocket Pokemon Red and Blue. Uh, but that's not the worst, but Giovanni is gathered into one group, the bosses from the various past games in the Pokemon series. You and your allies have to square off against what might be your greatest challenge yet. What in the world could Giovanni and his allies be after appearing in the Alola region so suddenly? Huh. 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 So this is just going over each one. In case you didn't know. Island Challenge Revisited. Hey, so this is a whole bunch of old stuff all over again. So my question, the thing that I've seen a lot of people talk about, is that apparently this takes place, well we already know, that Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon take place in a different timeline than Sun and Moon. It's an alternate reality. I don't know if you want to patch it with wormholes or what but I guess in this reality the villains won they succeeded and now Giovanni who was never outed from power ousted from power has collected all of them together because apparently there's something going on in the overall region that's just that lit and that hype that they need all the teams together for so it's interesting it's interesting so I feel like yo know, why isn't Guzma a part of it though Dog, they just treat Team Skull so bad, dog. I understand they're not like a criminal organization, it's more like a gang, but they put fucking Faba up here, dog. This irrelevant ass nigga they put up here. Faba. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. I understand why it's still, it's kind of just. Huh. Interesting. I hope that this is post-game and we actually have some sort of post-game storyline that isn't just catching Ultra Beast or catching Legends. While it's cool you have that available, don't get me wrong, um, it would actually be kind of lit. So I feel like the main story is going to be everything with the uh, UB Defense Force or whatever and Ultra Beast and whatnot, and then post-game, the villains attack. And that'd be lit. I'm just glad that I actually got the chance to sit down and watch the trailer and now I know that the Battle Agency and Team Rocket, Team Rainbow Rocket aren't the same thing. Because I was sitting there thinking for a second, I was like, oh no, I don't tell me you're just going to fight them for items. Please don't do that. But that's kind of lit. That's kind of lit. That's kind of lit. Either way, finally I had the chance to sit down and go over Team Rainbow Rocket. Uh, I've heard from a couple of different people that there's one more trailer that's going to come out before the game games do next week. So it'll definitely be interesting to say the least. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, catch me up to date on everything that's going on, you guys, because like I said, your boy's been out of the loop with people in town and whatnot. But catch me up to date. Let me know what you guys think about Team Rainbow Rocket, all the legends, etc., 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 in the comment section below. And if you guys are hyped for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, we are a little over a week away. We're nine days away from new Pokemon games, you guys. That's kind of wild. Whew! If you're hyped, and of course, if you want to show your boys a proud member of that nation, make sure to like button down below for us, and we'll catch you guys next time. Until then, we are Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!